Robots will soon be everywhere you look. It started with computers and then smartphones, but today we have driverless taxis, self-sufficient robots, and even artificial intelligence. And now the food we eat will be prepared by robots. China is leading the revolution with robots that can make tasty, high quality, healthy food for cheap prices inside a fully automated restaurant. They're also trying to revolutionize the student cafeteria using AI robots. And still, that might not be enough to catch up to Singapore's four year head start. Keep watching till the end to find out why. Fudum Tianjiang Meishi Robotics Restaurant is one of the first ever fully automated robot restaurants located in Shunde, Guangdong province in China. And we're not just talking about serving the food on those self-moving trash with the cute name and googly eyes. This is a fully robotized restaurant. Robots prepare the food and drinks. A greeter robot welcomes guests before they sit at a table and about 40 different automated robots are used to deliver the food to your table. The restaurant opened in the summer of 2020. In the kitchen, they employ a clay pot robot that can cook up to 120 different dishes per hour, which means one dish every 30 seconds. The coffee robot is a bit slower, requiring around 45 seconds to make a cup of coffee, just like you'd find at your favorite coffee shop. The restaurant is owned and operated by the real estate developer Country Garden, who donated the same clay pot robots, just like the one they use in their restaurant, to Hubei province at the peak of the epidemic. They did this so the medical workers could have a hot meal waiting for them after a hard day's work. But the management team at Country Garden realized the company could diversify its portfolio by investing in these automated robot restaurants. They founded Changxi Robotics Group the year before, and the same robots that were used to help the pandemic-stricken Hubei province were later used in their restaurants. You can order anything from steamed fish to stir fried beef and even clay pot rice with sausage and golden crust lining. And yes, all of the dishes are not made by humans, but by the clay pot chef. The robots specialize in Chinese shunde cuisine and can cook any dish from steamed to boiled, fried, and even grilled. The robot can make you a mouthwatering burger in no time. Once the food is ready, they are loaded onto warm dishes which make it to your table using the rails installed on the ceiling above. Above each table, there's a projection light that indicates to the guests when they should expect their food. And call me crazy, but I think food delivered in these so-called parachute trays is awesome. As soon as people heard about it, it quickly turned into a countrywide sensation with guests sharing videos of the robots delivering the food. But that's not the only benefit. You see, managers are praising the robot chefs because they say the robots are more consistent than human chefs. In other words, you can expect the same quality food when the robot makes it. And the diners don't just like the consistency, they're also really impressed with the prices of the food. One lady said that she ordered a burger for $1.90 and when it arrived, it was roughly the same quality as you would find in some of the popular fast food chain stores. And with the ever increasing popularity of robots, more and more fast food chains might be employing these robots. One other restaurant using only robots is Hajime. Hajime Robot Restaurant is located in Bangkok, Thailand. But unlike most modern style restaurants that are located in the heart of the metropolis, this one strayed a bit off the beaten path, literally. That's because the restaurant is located in Monopoly Park, right off the Central Plaza Rama 3, a shopping center that some said looks like an actual theme park. Before entering the restaurant, you will notice it has four rows of booths assembled around the authentic Japanese style. Each pair of parallel booths has a glass corridor in the middle and a 30-foot track where the robots move back and forth. So wherever you choose to sit, you will be served by one of two robots, one of which looks like a samurai. Now, once you sit down, you can choose Japanese food served shabu style or Japanese BBQ style, and you can either grill or boil the food yourself. Once your food is ready, a robot will bring it to your table through the glass opening. Every 30 minutes or so, the robots will stop and smash that like button 
just like you should if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the robots will stop and do a little dance, flinging arms while rotating. It's not Cirque du Soleil, but it'll do. Speaking of circus, there's a new German-based robotics company that's looking to revolutionize food in high school cafeterias. Circus SE is a German robots company looking to disrupt and revolutionize the food service industry using AI, robotics, and proprietary software. In mid-2024, they struck a deal with China and they will be building and shipping a total of 5,400 of the CA1 cooking robots across 92 of Beijing's educational institutions. These robots will be able to cook 4 billion meals every year, ensuring there's a high quality meal for every student. But these CA1 robots are not like the ones you've seen before. They're pretty big, requiring an area of 215 square feet or 20 square meters. But when you consider that you're getting a robot that can dispense ingredients, cook, clean, and pack food without the help of a human, I'd say the robot is not that big. These 5,400 robots across China will be able to cook approximately 10 million meals every day and all of them will operate using the proprietary Circus operating system. By integrating artificial intelligence into these robots, Circus SE ensured that the robots would learn from their mistakes and get better with every meal they cook. This way, they minimize expenses, ensure consistency, and increase quality over time. Unlike today's student cafeterias, students will get to choose the meals they want cooked the CA1 robots use specialized arms and cooking equipment to produce high quality meals every time. Another company looking to revolutionize the restaurant industry is Rich Tech. At the start of 2024, during the Consumer Electronics Show or CES held from January 9th to January 12th, Rich Tech Robotics unveiled the coolest robot of the year. His name is Adam and he's a barista bot. So. If you're looking for a fresh cup of Robo Joe, he's your guy. During the event, Adam was placed inside a mobile food truck where attendees could interact with Adam, ask him questions, and place an order for their favorite cup of coffee. Unlike the other Asian robots we've seen so far, Adam interacts and talks to the audience. He does that thanks to the built-in artificial intelligence and the cameras paired with facial recognition software. This is why as soon as Adam sees someone walking towards him, he will greet them. This allows the customers to engage and interact with Adam just as they would with a person at a coffee shop. Plus, Adam will tell you cool facts about coffee while he's making your order. Now, while the company claims Adam can operate a business all on his own, it's worth mentioning that the cost of getting an Adam Barista bot is about $200,000 so it might not be the perfect companion for your barista shop if you're just starting. It might be cheaper in the long run, but if you don't have that much money to shell out on a robot, then this is not the best investment. However, Singapore Ratio Cafe doesn't think robots like these are expensive, so they opened a fully automated cafe. The first Ratio Cafe and Lounge was opened in Singapore in 2020, and their specialty is the fact that all of their drinks and their foods are made by robots. Well, that's not entirely true. Technically, they're made by robotic arms. Ratio Cafe has around 50 different alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks on its menu, and you order through a touchscreen interface. The robot takes your order and makes the drinks you choose. There's a designated pickup area where you can get your drinks. The interesting thing about this cafe is the fact that it's part of JustCo, which is a co-working space. So when you pay for a drink, you also get one hour access to the co-working space. So whether you want to grab a coffee and get some work done, or you just want to chill with a cocktail, the robots got you covered. Here's another video AI enthusiasts loved watching. This is AI Exposed, demystifying the world of artificial intelligence one video at a time. 